Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this quick video, I just wanted to show you guys some of the post-jailbreak steps you must take in order to get you on your way installing tweaks and themes correctly. So starting off, if you have yet to jailbreak, check the link in the description for my videos on how to do just that. The iOS 11 jailbreak called Electra supports all 64-bit devices running iOS 11 to 11.1.2. So if your device falls in that category, you are good to jailbreak and then come back and watch this video on the post-installation steps once you're jailbroken. Anyway, I just wanted to do this follow-up video to show you guys my post-jailbreak process because as of right now, it can be risky just installing anything and everything on the Cydia store. So directly after jailbreaking, one of the first things I did was update Cydia. Now in my first video, I did a complete upgrade, but I just wanted to warn you guys that as of this morning, the APT dependency received an update that for now breaks Cydia. So if you guys are freshly jailbroken and want to update Cydia, go ahead and update its dependencies aside from APT. Secondly, right after jailbreaking with Electra, many users like myself were accustomed to Anemone coming pre-installed, but with this initial public release of Electra with Cydia, this tweak is no longer bundled with it. So one of the first things I went to do was install it, and that is, if you guys saw my last video, you'll know that I ran into some problems. So while Anemone and its dependencies have been updated for iOS 11, the update for one of its dependencies called Rocket Bootstrap, it has yet to be pushed to the Big Boss repo. So if you guys want to install Anemone and Themes, go ahead and add this new repo to your list. This will provide you the update to Rocket Bootstrap, which you will then install first and then go back and install Anemone. Because if you don't do this step, if you just install Anemone the way it is on the Big Boss repo currently, it will send your device into a respring loop. So now with all that taken care of, you can now be on your way installing tweaks and themes. Anemone should now load successfully and your Cydia application should be as updated as it can be right now and still functional. So initially this morning I was going to do a top tweaks video, but before I get into something like that, I just wanted to state that not many tweaks are supported as of yet, and some tweaks and its dependencies are not updated and it can cause your device to go into a respring loop. So before you install anything, check the link in the description to the compatibility list, which shows all the tweaks that have been tested and confirmed as working on iOS 11. Also, I just wanted to clarify, in my last video, I was under the impression that this jailbreak does not come with a safe mode, as I very early on encountered this respring loop after installing something that was not supported. But I just wanted to clarify that that is not the case. The Elector jailbreak does have a safe mode, and for most tweaks, if you install something that's unsupported, when you respring, your device will simply not load any of the tweaks you have installed. So if that just happens, just head back into Cydia and uninstall the last tweak you installed. Secondly, if you manage to send your device into a respring loop, just force restart your device, and then when you go back into the Electra app and re-jailbreak your device, simply deselect the Enable Tweaks option, and then you will be able to jailbreak without having the corrupted tweaks loaded. Once again, now you can go back into City and delete the tweak that you just installed, then restart your device again and re-jailbreak, and then finally you will be back in your jailbroken state with all of your tweaks that you previously installed that are supported enabled. Anyway, just to demo this, I wanted to install at least one tweak and one theme for you guys. So one of the first things that I like to install when I just jailbreak for the first time is this tweak called Swipe for More. Now this will help when installing multiple tweaks at once within Cydia. So for this example, I'm just going to install this tweak called Blord. And once it pops up, all we have to do is simply swipe to either queue or directly install this tweak. I'm just going to queue this up, and at the same time, I'm going to install the theme called Lotus, which is the theme I use the most and have used in past videos. Now I can just hit the blue install button, and both Blord and Lotus will be installed at the same time. Hit confirm up in the top right, and the installation process will begin. So once your device has finished respringing, you will now notice that whatever tweaks you installed are now working perfectly fine. So if I head into something that has a keyboard like Safari, pull it up, there we go, there is the tweak called Blord. And if you guys want to know, I'm also using the tweak called X key and bar emoji at the bottom to get the emojis right there. Anyway, that's just a sneak peek at a few of them. Now let's go into Anemone and enable the theme that we installed. So to get that up and running, we're just going to launch Anemone, and right now I have the Lotus theme right here, which we just downloaded. Simply select the Lotus Apps theme, and then just to show you guys, I also have the Vilexium Line Dock right here selected. 
Anyway, once we have all the themes selected that we want to apply, all we have to do is go up to the top right and select preview, and then once again, select apply. And then you'll immediately notice you'll be taken to the home screen and the themes that you just applied are immediately enabled without even having to respring your device. So that is just awesome that that is now working perfectly fine within the iOS 11 Electra jailbreak. So pretty much there it is, guys. That is how to install tweaks and themes and what to do directly after you first jailbreak your device to get Anemone running and get Cydia updated as much as it possibly can. Anyway, like I said, I would highly suggest to check out the iOS 11 tweak compatibility list. It's absolutely awesome that that was created and now it is currently being updated to include repositories so you know what repository to add to install the tweak you're looking for. Anyway, guys, I will keep you posted on any further updates and of course stay tuned as I'll be releasing a top tweaks video here later shortly today. Anyway guys, that just about wraps up this quick video on how to install themes and tweaks correctly with Insidia on iOS 11. Anyway guys, if this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you want to stay updated on when I release future videos just like this one, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Anyway guys, until next time, this is Tony signing out.